What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. So in this video we're talking about Instagram. And how you can use DaVinci Resolve to give your Instagram its own unique customized look to draw in more followers, fans, and clients. So whether you love Instagram or hate Instagram, one thing's pretty undisputed and that's the fact that a ton of people are on Instagram. And if you think about TV, commercials work so well because people are already sitting there, they're already tuned in, they're already waiting for content. So if you can just slide your ad in there, then a ton of people will see it. And social media can be used the same way for content creators. It's somewhere people are already checking in on multiple times a day on their phone. They're already looking and waiting for new content. So if you can kind of work the system and get your stuff in front of them, then a ton of people will see your content and be able to give you a response or you can connect with other creators, whatever it may be. One thing that's always been important to me is the presentation of my Instagram. I want people to kind of come to my feed and before they even enter any post, I want them to kind of see my visual style. I want them to see like a clean aesthetic, almost like an art gallery. Like they're walking out of the social media platform and kind of in my room where I have the walls painted a certain way and posters up and they can kind of feel my aesthetic and my creative abilities before they even look at any of my videos or pictures. And you'll see a lot of content creators do this in a lot of really dope ways. Um, a lot of people will just choose like a color palette and so you'll see throughout their whole gallery there's kind of a certain color scheme going on that makes everything very unified and look very clean. Some content creators will do this kind of framing thing that I do where I put all my posts within a frame that's white so it kind of plays off the white background that Instagram already has giving this very unified kind of sleek look throughout my entire gallery. So let's go ahead and hop into DaVinci Resolve 16 and I'll show you some really cool and simple ways that you can create your own look for your Instagram. So I've already got a project open called Insta Videos and typically if I'm in a certain project making a video, you know, I'll export that for the client and then I'll take that video and I'll import it into this project where I already have the resolution set for Instagram and some of the design elements that I'll use to make these frames. So when it comes to resolutions on Instagram, there's only a few things to remember. And that's that you have your wide post, you have your square post, and then you have your portrait tall post. And then you even have your kind of extra tall um, story portraits or Instagram TV portrait resolution. Some pretty random resolutions, but I guess that's what works best with Instagram's algorithm and you know how it streams videos depending on what connection that we're working with. So from there, I'll come into the file and the project settings. Now you can see that I already have mine set up for this tall 1080 by 1350. And I typically always choose the 1080 wide by 1350 high post, unless I need to send somebody something for their Instagram stories or Instagram TV, I always do the regular tall portrait post. Now the reason I choose that instead of a square post or a landscape is because it takes up more of their screen. Um, if I cancel out of this and you guys see here, if somebody scrolls past this, this is gonna take up the majority of their screen. It's almost like a little pro tip, a little hack here. Um, so when you're scrolling through Instagram, a taller post is gonna take up more of your screen. Therefore, uh, they'll be less distracted by the post that came before it or the post that comes after it. And they'll kind of be stuck with your post for the whole kind of stroke of the screen um, to deal with whether they wanna watch it or just scroll past it. It's kind of a little selfish little trick there that you can kind of throw in. And not only does that work really well, but if you have all this real estate, you might as well use it. I mean, we're content creators. So take that extra real estate and kind of show people how creative you can be. So first, let's jump back over here into the project settings. Um, so we can go over this resolution and frame rate. Uh, I've got mine set to 1080 wide by 1350 tall. And then for playback frame rate, I've just got it set to 29.97 because I do not believe that Instagram plays back 24 frames a second or 50 frames a second. You can upload those frame rates, but they will just reconvert the file to a 29.9 or 30 frames a second to my knowledge. Um, and then from there, uh, you can either choose to save this as a preset. You can see that I have an Insta Stories preset already saved with a 1080 by 1920 because one of my clients uh, loves to have their videos put up in the YouTube TV resolution or the Instagram TV resolution um, because they're kind of long videos. Uh, but once I have that set, I'll just press cancel and go back and then we can drag in some media. And so I'm going to go to compass here and let's go to this house and I will choose, let's say this beautiful bathroom piece here. Hit I and then we can move forward and hit O, and I'll just drag in just the video portion of this, and I'll scoot this up a little ways. And then we'll need a background. You can see that it's already got our resolution kind of customized here <clears throat> and ready for our background to come in. So I'll go over here to uh, Effects Library and then Generator, Solid Color, and just drag this in 
widen this out and then in the inspector I can choose white now like I said earlier I always choose white because Instagram's default layout is white so by giving your uh, images or videos a white background then you won't get when people look at your gallery you won't get those white lines that separate each image making it look a lot more like it was one kind of planned and thought out creation uh, so here with this set to white I will change this resolution and kind of zoom this out a little bit uh, that way because if it's all the way out here then we're still going to get these white lines and it's kind of going to look um, like typical Instagram but just by shrinking this a little bit and giving yourself a little bit more width on the outside if you can imagine if you have one post just like this right next to it then you're going to have more of a gap kind of giving it the illusion that you're doing something different than everybody else is doing on Instagram even with just a slightly thicker gap people will notice that because they're so used to seeing those thin little gaps in between each post so with this setup here I'll drag in the logo and just drag this right on top here and I'll stretch this out and we'll shrink this down to go right where we had it before which was down here I'll go to the position and just scoot this right in right here and then what I did uh, if you look back here I've also got their little compass little logo right here up top and that can be done really easily I'm gonna slide this down and I will hold alt and copy this logo and then I'm gonna scoot it up to the top and then I will scoot it over to the right and from here I can go to the crop and the crop is like a really quick way to like make a mask now of course you can only make a square mask because you can't diagonal any of these cropping uh, options but you can soften it which could be kind of helpful uh, depending on your situation but from here I'm just gonna hit the crop left and I'll scoot this over until the C has gone and then crop right I'll scoot this over until the rest of compass is gone and then I can come up here to the zoom and I can make it a little bigger and here we've got kind of the bottom hanging over so I'm gonna crop the bottom a little bit too and that way I can make this a little bigger and then move this over to the right boom and of course you could jump into fusion and mask that if you were working with a, uh, a logo or something that was a little more complicated than this. This is kind of a really simple situation. Uh, but that is how I did that. And then to make some design elements, uh, one thing I would do is just draw, drag in uh, another solid, throw this on top, and I can keep that as black and then I'll crop this to make a line at the top and the bottom. So I'll crop about there, maybe scoot back a little bit, and then I'll crop the bottom about here and then I'll scoot this over here boom and then what I can do is either copy that or I could just make a whole new one if you guys want to see that process again drag in the solid color then go to crop and I'll just crop the bottom like this kind of looking for the middle of that compass logo boom try to make sure it's level and then I can crop the right side and there we have a beautiful Instagram frame that your clients will be like oh my gosh thank you for this and it's really cool I mean you have no idea when you send your client the regular finished video but then you also send them like an Instagram formatted video that gives their gallery a, a cool certain look I mean clients love that they love that so much and it just proves that you're thinking about them and not only that you're thinking about them but they hired the right creative that's really going to think outside the box and of course it'll it'll pull in more eyes and more followers so that's really really cool um, and of course I can also come over and let's make another one uh, let's make one a little more complicated though so I'm going to drag in let's say <clears throat> this deadlift guy here or this guy is doing this huge deadlift it's in slow-mo kind of cool uh, he's like the Incredible Hulk here boom god that was a beautiful shot I mean come on guys for one take that's kind of tight I mean can we all right sorry I'll move on so I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a solid color down here bada bing bada boom and change this to white and I will shrink this video on top beautiful now I'm gonna right click and import their logo I don't even have their logo right here yet so I'm gonna go find their logo real fast projects ruck 
and Ruck Nutrition. Here we are. Boom. And I can drag in this logo as well. And let's say put this here on the bottom. Yeah, that's nice. And then hold Alt and copy this. <clears throat> and then I'm going to reset the zoom and reset the position. And I'm going to go down to the crop and I'm going to crop the top of the logo out just so it says Ruck Nutrition. And then I'm going to move the position up like this and zoom this out, leveling it out with kind of the width of the video. Boom. Maybe crop the bottom a little bit. Yeah. Sick. And then I can hold Alt, drag this up, and move this up, and then take the opacity down a little bit. And then do this again, hold Alt, and drag this up, and change the opacity again. And boom, there we have a, a whole nother frame, which is really sick. I mean, it's just, it's so fast and so simple to make anything like this. Um, it really kind of takes our job to the next level. So another thing we can do that's really, really cool is let's go back to this compass video. Because keep in mind that what you're seeing here and what you're uploading to Instagram is a video. Now the background looks like text, but it is a video. So uh, you could come to, let's say the solid color here on the right, and the video could start with these lines coming across. So let's play this and go forward a few frames, and then boom, we'll create a keyframe in the crop left, and then go back to the beginning, and I will crop this all the way. And then we can simply come down here to the splines and select this and ease it a little bit so we get a little smoother motion there. And now, yeah, that's really cool. And we can do the same thing. Let's do the same thing with the top one, but offset it a little bit. So I'm going to scoot this back. And then from here, I'll make a keyframe in the crop right for this top line here. And then I'll come back almost to the beginning. And I will scoot that crop right all the way across. And then we'll do the same thing and edit this keyframe here. Add a little easing. Stretch this out. And we should have something pretty cool. Yeah, that is sick. And of course, you could also come down here. If I just get rid of all this stuff here. You can also come down here to the compass. And let's say, you know, it would be really cool. Okay. What you can do, <laughs> this is sick. So I'm going to need to make all of this smaller. And we are going to move around this video. I'm going to put all the design elements underneath the video. And then scoot the video back on top. Probably should have done this to begin with, but you know what? You do what you can. And then from here, I'm going to take this compass and move forward a few frames. And I'm going to drag this up underneath the video. Keyframe that. Keyframe it at the beginning again. And then go back to this last keyframe that we made. And I'll move this back down. And then, of course, we can go in and add that easing that we added to... The other keyframes. Boom. That's pretty freaking cool. That's just such a sick little thing to do. Uh, and it makes all the difference just kind of having those things come on the screen uh, because it also kind of draws the attention there. It's like, oh, this is a compass video um, in case you didn't notice. And of course, you can do the same thing with the logo at the top. If I move forward and make a keyframe, at the position and then come back close to the beginning I can scoot this down under the video and voila 
Very cool. Very slick. Now, I, I think you guys are getting where I'm going with this. The possibilities become kind of endless because you have this whole frame and you could just make a completely animated frame that's constantly moving. Um, as well as kind of make your whole gallery look a certain way. Once somebody actually goes into the video, they're like, oh my god, this whole frame's moving. It's like I'm in a whole different universe. Where'd Instagram go? And then one more thing we can do is if I just want to save this frame, just the frame, I don't need the animations, I just want uh, this picture uh, for future use, I can drag in and make it the background uh, for future Instagram posts. I can simply go into the color tab and well, let's do this first. In the edit tab, let's go ahead and mute the video. Um, so it's just the frame and then jump into the color tab, right click, grab still, and then you can right click on the still and then export that still. Um, so I'm just going to export this to the desktop as a JPEG, uh, as compass frame, or compass insta frame. Boom. And now, on my desktop, I got the frame right here. So I can import it back in any project I need uh, and kind of take it from there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys learned something. And please comment down below your Instagram so we can all check out each other's Instagram galleries and kind of gain some inspiration from each other. Because I definitely want to see what you guys are doing, what you guys do with this kind of thing, how far you guys can take it. And if you guys like this video, definitely do me a huge favor and click that like button. And if you didn't like the video, definitely do me a huge favor and click that like button. And as always, definitely make sure to subscribe. And guys, I'm Marcel, and this has been The Modern Filmmaker. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace!